Hi there. In this short topic video, we're just going to be looking at some of the consequences of an exchange rate appreciation. Here's an example of a currency that has, has appreciated. Uh, the US dollar has risen in value against the euro in recent times. Go back to 2008, it uh, would have cost you $1.47 to buy one euro. By 2012, it was only $1.29. And by 2015, you could buy one euro for $1.11 if, for example, you were a US tourist visiting Paris or Madrid. So this chart suggests that the US dollar has appreciated in nominal terms against the euro. It takes fewer dollars to buy those euros. Now, what about the, some of the consequences of an appreciation of the exchange rate? Let's think, for example, about the effect of a currency going up on the demand for imports. If a country's currency appreciates, that means that there's been a rise or an increase in that currency's external purchasing power. So, for example, one dollar, as we've just seen, buys more euros. Well, think about that from the point of view of the United States. If the dollar appreciates against the euro, it's going to be cheaper for US businesses to import goods and services from the European Union. Well, in theory, that will then increase the demand for imports from the EU. But of course, that will depend on the price elasticity of demand for imports. Now, it may be the case that if the dollar appreciates against the euro, and if there's a significant rise in European exports into the United States as a result, then the US trade balance may deteriorate. And in theory, of course, because uh, uh, imports represent a leakage from the circular flow, then a dollar appreciation could lead to a shrinking or a contraction of aggregate demand. Well, a couple of uh, important evaluation points. Clearly, price is what we focus on so far, and it's not the only factor that affects the demand for imported goods and services. Non-price factors can be as important. Keep in mind also that if the US dollar went up, uh, in other words, it appreciated, it would be cheaper for the states to import raw materials and, for example, energy, which could help to restore some competitiveness. And the elasticity is quite important. Often in the short term, the elasticity of demand for imports is pretty low. Businesses may be contracted to buy uh, a given quantity, in which case a fall in the price of imports actually means you spend less in total on imported products. Let's think about how we can use ADAS analysis to show the effect of an appreciation. Well, typically, a uh, currency appreciation makes it harder for a country to sell their exports in overseas markets. So in theory, uh, a stronger currency could lead to an inward shift of aggregate demand, which I've shown in my diagram here, AD1 shifting to AD2. Now that could cause, in theory, uh, recessionary conditions are falling national output. However, also keep in mind that a currency appreciation makes imports cheaper. A rise in the currency makes it cheaper to import things like raw materials, component parts, and also uh, essential technologies. So the rise in the exchange rate could also cause an outward shift of aggregate supply, which I've shown in my diagram on the right hand side. That obviously will be better in terms of cor for corporate profitability and output and investment. So an exchange rate appreciation can have an effect both on aggregate demand and also the shorter level of aggregate supply. So this has just been a short topic video looking at some aspects of a currency appreciation.